You guys ever watch Cool Runnings? I've seen the whole movie, I think, but only in like 10 minute chunks. And oh. it's been over the last 20 years. So, <laughs> so n- not really. <laughs> it's kind of like a weird movie for John Candy to be in. What is John Candy in? Every Plane, day? Planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah. 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 Which, yeah. Okay. I was like, I know I. <laughs> yeah. That's the one. It's kind of a departure from his normal fare. Yeah. <laughs> As a cocaine snorting. <laughs> Have you did Every you minute. recently watch Cool Runnings? I did not. Oh. We were talking today out at Refugia about like the best childhood movies. Right. And Cool Runnings is not the best, but it was one that I watched like because we had the VHS and I watched it like eight times probably. Yeah. So I think there I think there's definitely like there's some stuff that you like more because you're nostalgic for it because you had it when you were a kid. And then there's stuff that like like that where you don't even necessarily like it more because you've seen it a bunch of times, yeah. but it's just like mm-hmm. it sticks in your mm-hmm. brain. So like, yeah, A Bug's Life oh, was shit. a good movie, but that was one of the only VHSs that my grandma had. So oh, man. I've seen A Bug's Life <laughs> like 300 times. <laughs> oh man, for me that was like Dennis the Menace. It was yeah. just like one of those VHS <laughs> tapes that like. Your, it was like, just my there. auntie had, and I was like, "Well, if I'm here, like, right. I'm gonna watch Dennis the Menace." Like, we we also my grandma also had Pokemon 2000. Oh. I've never watched Pokemon. I've never played Pokemon. I don't own any Pokemon memorabilia. But you, but sure I've seen Pokemon. Know I know all about Mewtwo. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bar. Yeah, yeah. If you know Mewtwo, he's still the best one. <laughs> he's like the rarest one, right? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's, yeah, that's how far my Pokemon yeah, knowledge that's, goes. That's, that's rare. I refuse to acknowledge anything past Mewtwo era. <laughs> yeah. It's just not working. You don't, you don't like the batteries with eyes? Like the clouds <laughs> the, like, with the eyes? The sword that is like... <laughs> there's a sword? It's, it's, it's there's, just a sword. Yeah, there's a sword <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> I, I'm glad I knew that. Uh, yeah. But, but my, uh, my old roommate in college was way into, mm, like uh, scary into Pokemon. Yeah. Mm. So he would complain about these things to me and I was like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's just made up, dude. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you know they're not real. Kevin, <laughs> you don't right? have to get real mad about fake things. <laughs> oh, man. I think we're, I think sound check is all good. Nice. We're ready to start. Okay. Um, all right. Here we go. Welcome to Beer Right Back, the Lounge Beer Podcast. Today we're going over six beers in the hazy IPA range, multiple different breweries. So sit back, relax, crack open a beer. What do we have first, Jeremy? Today we are starting off with a Battle in Four Dimensions, the unfiltered double India Pale Ale, brewed with Amarillo hops and beet juice by Southern beet Tier juice, juice. Brewing Company. This will be the second beer I've had that is made with beet juice. The other being the red velvet beer from uh, well, who has all the skeleton? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. uh, which one? Uh, who has the skeletons on the bottles? Is that the? I'm thinking of. Um, oh shit! <laughs> no, I don't know. I thought that uh, pink paper stew from Ska it has. I, it's a field beer. I know it has carrots and stuff. I thought it had oh, beets too. I think that's why it's pink. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. 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 You're a little far away. I'm too far away. (laughs) I hold you in my heart. Okay. (laughs) I've had colder beers. (laughs) (laughs) And better beers, I think. I I was disappointed at first. I think because of the color, I instinctively thought this was going to be a sour, so my brain just had it tucked Uh, away. This was going to be a little I was going to like, I was like, cranberry juice. Yeah. (laughs) Nothing really like it, but... (laughs) Second sip, though, but I always find that I can form a better opinion. This is just like one off for me, but but I like it mostly. There's there's something about it I don't. It doesn't doesn't really wow me. It I'm, could be colder. Could that's be true. Cold. It's pretty tepid. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of yeah. I don't know the the can also threw me off. I was like, man, what a colorful like like kaleidoscope like. Kind of reminds me of the black hole from uh, 
Interstellar. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's crazy. Right. And then this is like, it's not as like uh, outstanding. It doesn't wow me. It's just kind of okay. It uh, it looks like uh, the ending of 2001. Oh, Oh, yeah. uh, And and with a name like Battle in Four Dimensions. Yeah, holy shit. I'm going to be transported. (laughs) Yeah, I kind of expected an acid trip of a beer, right? Oh, yeah. And you're sort of left with this flat, kind of mild... IPA. It's not much of a double IPA, is it? This is a double? Isn't it? Isn't that what it says? It's a double. <laughs> Yikes, dude. It is it, it, 8.5%. I was going to say, it's got a little boozy, just a little boozy kick at the very end of it. but mm-hmm. Yeah, double IPA. What's the uh, best buy date? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're okay. Okay. I don't think these are quite as old. I can't I think find it. it's printed best. on the very bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I could read calligraphy... <laughs> I haven't if, brushed up on my Egyptian. Lately. If only. Oh, can I have a look at that? Oh, it's something 18. So maybe this is kind of old. 11, 18. A little old. A oh. little old. But not old enough to make me think that this is all due to how old it is. Yeah. Part of me wants to give it a second shot later on, but yeah. that'll find, have to be Find it fresher. Air. Go to the yeah. brewer. Have it fresh. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right out of the yeah. horse's where, mouth. Where are these people? Um, this is Southern Tier. Southern Tier, so probably in uh, Oregon. This, this strikes me as the kind of thing that we should look up before we start. <laughs> we are professionals. Yes. Oh, uh, brewed and can by Southern Tier Brewing Company, Lakewood, NY, USA. Wow. All it's the had, way across the country. Had, yeah, it's had yeah. a journey. <laughs> <laughs> a couple miles a day. Yeah. It got yeah. here. That's at least four dimensions to get yeah. from here to there, right? <laughs> Three time zones, which <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I like it, but it's just that's there's not a lot going on. Yeah, no, nope. that's uh that's ironically very one dimensional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one uh, dimensional single hopped. The the very bottom, like the the sub subtitle says episode five of six. Oh, if I could give a recommendation, I'd say do a sour with like uh, almost the same mm-hmm. setup, just sweeter for episode six yeah Mm -hmm. yeah end with a bang i i also this is not much of a hazy ipa to me either like i kind of have an idea of what a typical hazy ipa entails Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i'm excited for something to go outside i feel like uh, i don't i don't want to say this too many times over the rest of this episode but i feel like hazy ipas kind of all taste the same oh and this does not taste the same yeah but i think it's worse and why call, ironically, uh, yeah. why call it a hazy IPA if it's not going to be representative oh. of the style? It is hazy. It is opaque in color. But, but they are coming up front with saying there are beats in this. Mm-hmm. You know, like obviously they're not trying to hit within the realm. They're not trying to hit dead middle median right. of what mm-hmm. a hazy IPA is. So I think it's a valiant attempt of doing something new and interesting on a probably overplayed demographic sure. within like the beer industry, which yeah. is yeah. That's the hazy IPAs thing has been going on for a couple years now mm. as a trend. And it's like, seems like it got really big a year ago. It was when it like really hit its stride, mm-hmm. and then now it's kind of feels like it's dying down in favor of like brute IPAs and bread IPAs and things like that. Which they're so similar in a lot of ways that I'm kind of sad that the trend didn't go like across the board to something completely different. Yeah. Well, I. Th- I think we're kind of still living in like the the IPA paradigm. Like it's like at the end of the day, like most people are just gonna be like, oh, I don't know. If I want a craft beer, give me an IPA. But then like there's a you know like a partially smaller def- demographic. I feel that's like like give me mm-hmm. something that has like a a, a prefix <laughs> mm-hmm. to well, the beginning of IPA, <laughs> like hazy or. As we've said before, IPAs are popular because people keep ordering them. If, mm-hmm. if people stopped buying them, they wouldn't make them. Yeah. And I, I think it's cool that they, you know, we have some twists on the regular old IPA that give it a little interesting flavor to it. Mm-hmm. Um, so you want an IPA, but you've had all six of these IPAs before. <laughs> yeah. Then you try, well, here's a hazy IPA or something. Mm-hmm. But to me, this one, it's almost like a, an IPA with like like training wheels on it. Like it's, it doesn't like... Yeah. Punch you in the face or anything, and then it's a double. In that name. word doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> your comment about 
the IPA paradigm <laughs> makes me want to make like a time scale. Like they have oh. like Cretaceous period, <laughs> yeah. Jurassic, Jurassic, yeah. like all that stuff yeah. for beer. Yeah. Wow. That'd be fun. Yeah. They have like wow. a huge poster of that. It's like the IPA period. Mm-hmm. And it's like <laughs> split up into like the sub, uh-huh. like the yeah. hazy IPA, brown yeah. IPA. <laughs> That's perfect. We should do that. It starts oh, with like yeah. Schlitz and Budweiser, <laughs> and then it goes into like Paps. Heineken. We gotta, Paps. we gotta <laughs> like make parallels though to like the evolution of species and like yeah. like <laughs> Budweiser is just like this like amorphous fish thing. <laughs> <that> like, <laughs> are we like are we are we fully erect Homo sapiens <laughs> right now? Maybe. Or are we still I, like kind of slouched? I'll speak for myself. I'm fully erect <laughs> <laughs> after this beer. That's kind of surprising. <laughs> Tripping your trigger kind of easy. Uh-huh. Today, <laughs> huh? Yeah, and, and then at some point it's like New Belgium is like like the like monkey on its oh. fist, like, <laughs> like the knuckle draggers, and then and then you move up, and, oh, man. and then you finally get to like yeah. Evil Twin, and it's like okay. Galaxy Brain, <laughs> <laughs> like, like space faring humans. Yeah. Like. <laughs> It's like the Star Trek, just like the amorphous the just energy ball of us. Yeah. <laughs> we have not given this beer a rating. Ah, oh, indeed. I have one in mind. I, I do too. 55. 50. 55. We're killing it, killing <laughs> it boys. Oh, I can help you out. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely the doorstop lever. You have, you have responsibilities. I know. I'm the guy when you got three people in... Like the cab of a truck, the guy in the passenger seat has to get out and open the gate. Yeah. You you get, you get the biggest seat, but but I got to get price. out. Yeah. yeah, and you, no, he is driving. You're I'm in the, the middle. I'm middle seat. Yeah, you don't have to do anything. Yeah, well, but I get the smallest seat. Yeah, I, I I don't have to leave my chair. I don't have to lift the thing. I don't have to clean glasses, but I got to sit here and. And watch levels. Have so. your friend's hand in between your legs as he shifts yeah. to different gears. <laughs> S- slow down this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot you're already erect. I, I, I totally forgot about that. Whisper it. <laughs> what was that thing you said to me? It was Sweet like the, the cowboy position when you like. Oh, no. you're like what did I? <laughs> it was like when when you're like. The last to leave, but you don't close the door behind you. You just like you're there, but you don't do anything or something like that. Oh, I think you're thinking of somebody else. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Remember, I don't know what this is about. <laughs> There's a song about the real cowboys, the one in the middle, oh. like in the the three positions. There's a song about what we were talking about. Oh, the real okay. cowboys, the one in the middle, because he doesn't have to drive and he doesn't have to open the gate. Yeah, that's the. Yeah, he's not doing anything. He's just. He's just there. stick shift between his legs. I did not have this conversation with really? him. Really? Okay. <laughs> I'm hallucinating. Maybe I am thinking in four dimensions. <laughs> oh, the elemental you're, you're being. Thinking, you're thinking into the future when yeah. we're going to have this conversation. <laughs> right. Well, What's up next? Uh, Ooh. Second, we have the Hazy Domination by Ninkasi, Kin- Ninkasi Brewing Company. Thank you. But in uh, oh Eugene, Oregon. Yeah. Oh. Ninkasi makes some good stuff. Yeah, they're pretty ubiquitous across the western coast. Yeah, and I have some bad fucking news. They have been sold. They so oh, not no. not one of the big guys, but to some holdings company that mm. that's not very fucking hazy, is it? No, oh, you're giving me a lot. Oh, whoops! <laughs> this this glass is is broader than the other. Yeah, ones. it's throwing me off. Big shot. That's that's <laughs> that's a lager. Yeah, that's not Almost. hazy. Oh, mine's mine's more hazy. Oh, you're getting getting down to the bottom. Hey, Sean, can I trade you a little bit? <laughs> pour, pour half of yours in here and then take half of it back. <laughs> okay. It's about the same. I don't know. Nice. Mine is slightly hazier now. Gentlemen. Cheers. Cheers. I like that considerably more. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. It's got some flavor behind it. Mm-hmm. Still not very strong flavor. Right. Yeah. But definitely more pronounced than the first one. Yeah, it's kind of got more of that, that hazy characteristic mm-hmm. not a, not a whole lot mm-hmm. at least it's you know like more ipa <laughs> than, <laughs> than not it is for being a single ipa more bitter than the double ipa yeah. that we just finished mm. there needs to be like some regulation on <laughs> what you can put on a beer can uh, yeah it's just like <laughs> god damn it Ugh. the fda needs to get on that shit <laughs> yeah. oh i now i'm just like i'm like overflowing with beer related shit right now <laughs> We haven't shot an episode in a while, so 
Who do they get sold to? Just the conglomerate? Uh, this is from Brewbound. Ninkasi Brewing sells majority stake, establishes national platform to acquire other breweries. Oregon's Ninkasi Brewing has sold a majority stake to Legacy Breweries Incorporated, an upstart venture led by former Yakima Chief CEO Don Bryant that hmm. aims to acquire U.S. craft breweries. So they're not selling out to the big guys, but they're starting selling out. Way. Yeah, they're starting a big guy <laughs> by it's just for the same reasons that I don't like AB InBev. I want the brewer to be making the decisions. I don't want some faceless corporation to be deciding what they should brew. Perhaps a smaller conglomerate like that might be better than Anheuser Busch, but sure, it's, it's the same idea. You're right, and and I really think we are especially anal about that. And I think like to most people, they go, I don't care, you know. I, and I bet nothing changes. I bet it's the same place, but I don't see this being good for them at all. It's just it's that Ninkasi is not going to improve from this. I don't think mm-hmm. they will at best stay the same. Stay the same. Was, maybe they'll make more money. Sure, yeah. and, which is good and for maybe, them. Maybe that will give them the freedom to do more shit. So yeah. maybe, maybe it will be good for them. I'm yet to see that out of anybody, but mm-hmm. but maybe it can happen. I'm looking forward to that happening. How many uh, uh, citrus and tropical hop notes are you getting out of this one? S- three. <laughs> three. <laughs> exactly three. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of, before I looked at the can, I tried to think of something and I was like, I'm, I'm going to go with just like basic citra kind of taste. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, maybe not to the extent that they're advertising it, but this is pretty small font, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't like that because that's kind of a, uh, maybe I'm just comparing it to the last one, so I like it better. Yeah. But, but it's mm-hmm. like that's kind of a, a juicier flavor than the last oh, one. Oh, for so sure. It's like this kind of sweet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I get like a little mango thing, but mm. but you can pretty much drink any juicy, hazy IPA and throw a pineapple <laughs> or mango dart at the dartboard <laughs> yeah. and you're going to hit it. Or like time. tangerine. Yeah. yeah. Those are the three. I'll say this. I won't kick it out of bed for eating crackers. <laughs> That's a I, specific analogy. See, I've, <laughs> I've heard that as being like a higher compliment than that. Is that that has to be like like... An upper echelon. Oh, it's just crumbs. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Have you ever eaten crackers in bed? <laughs> yeah. I cannot. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'm weird. Dude, no. They I get, cannot they fucking get everywhere. sleep on crumbs. <laughs> One crumb. And it's like, I have to get up and oh. throw my blankets off and like brush the whole bed off. It's not as though my bed is just full of detritus. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tolerate it. It okay. doesn't matter. Yeah. So when I, I, somebody on Reddit said that, that euphemism, mm-hmm. and they, it, I gathered from their usage that that was a like a a higher. Yeah. This was oh. like a ninety percentile huh. and above. Like, I would let her eat oh. crackers in bed. You're right. And My, mine is more like this beer <laughs> is not perfect, <laughs> but I'm still gonna drink it. Good enough yeah. for the girls I go out with. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it's really it's a pretty easy drinking mm-hmm. IPA, and I mm-hmm. guess that's sort of the appeal of hazies, right? So. I have a number. Oh, hold on. Real oh, quick. You oh. were talking about like limiting what people put on cans. Yeah. Somebody posted uh, some, whatever. I saw this thing on Reddit. It, th- but they posted a picture of this beer can, and it's called a dark smooth ale. Whoa. And I'm not an expert. I do not have my Cicerone certification yet. I'm not a beer judge. Yet. You're almost there. Not yet. <laughs> but I've been through the beer judge categories yeah. like their style profiles mm-hmm. and i've never seen a smooth ale let alone a dark smooth ale and i looked it yeah. up and that is not a fucking real beer and i, I that's a pet peeve of mine mm. is trying to call it something to like get a cool like you when you let the marketing team name your beer oh. instead of the brewer oh. right then you get things like dark smooth ale and then somebody people like us who read it and kind of know a little bit about beer are like what the fuck? What the fuck is this beer? I have <laughs> yeah. no idea what I'm buying because uh. this isn't any style. When you say dark smooth, I think of like a strong Abbey Ale. And see, I think like a nitro porter or something. Uh. I think nitro is smooth. I don't know. Yeah. It's so vague. <laughs> yeah. I've got a number. I do too. Sure. 65. 63. 60. Whoa. 63 it is. Doesn't do anything particularly great. But doesn't do anything wrong either. Yeah. 
again in this in this uh, mythical land where people hand me free beers. I'm real grateful for this. <laughs> <Yeah>. one. <laughs> Goes down really smooth. Even when I'm in a hurry, anyway. <laughs> Goes down real smooth, smooth. Board comes. <laughs> <laughs> Spook. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you, Jewish grandma. <laughs> You're welcome, darling. You never call. <laughs> <laughs> you just like your father. <laughs> Nikasi's good. Yes. I, I for a while did not like them when I was getting into craft beer. I had a few of their beers and they make a lot of IPAs. They're not huge IPAs like Stone, but they're higher than than most. Mm-hmm. They're like real. They put hair in your chest. And at the time, I didn't really like that. But uh, I've grown into now, them. And yeah. I like Ninkasi a lot. They sort of strike me as uh, like a Breckenridge style brewery. I, I'm to yet me. to have a Breckenridge beer. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. They sort of, they're both now owned by larger conglomerates. Yeah. And they both make kind of similar beer to me. So. Mm. They're on my uh, Highway One map. Oh, really? Yeah, they're. Uh, they're right I would go coast. to Ninkasi. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, well, here, here's my fuck up. Next <laughs> up is it's like, oh, this, it's like hard to find it. Yeah. Okay. Um, the shop. The shop. Golden Doodle, or is it the Golden <laughs> Doodle by the shop? Yes. Okay. So, so the shop beer company, and this beer is called Golden, Golden Doodle. Doodle. I've noticed that uh, Juicy IPA written in, is the, it's like the same. What is it? What's that? Like Spencer's, that like clothing store. Oh yeah, yeah the, <laughs> it's the same font. The like sophomoric juvenile. Yeah, like the the spray paint can yeah. aesthetic. Yeah, of, like, yeah. Huh, that's interesting. I do graffiti on the side. Yeah, it's an art form. <laughs> Miss Monroe. <laughs> that's like yeah, the people who like tick off the art teachers in high school. Yeah. But you can't do graffiti on my fucking desk, you yeah. asshole. <laughs> I went to high school with some guys who were really fucking good at it. And they did it in like notebooks and stuff. It was mm-hmm. awesome. So now, like every time I hear somebody defending people, defacing property with it, I'm like, no one has an issue with what you put on there as long as it's not a penis, right? <sighs> right. Or like a tag. Yeah. But yeah. it's when it's on the side of my house... I have a little right. issue with yeah. it. And if I don't, I'll fucking pay you to do it. Like, if I'm okay with the art, I, well, no one's disputing whether, the, the if it's art, people are disputing, I don't want fucking the Mona Lisa painted on the side of my house because mm-hmm. it's my fucking house. Well, that's sort of the unfortunate thing is there's a lot of this gray area between, like, it's really hard to get a permit to paint right. a public structure. And so why not just do it if it's like the side of a business or something, because it's it there beautif- for two days. It, it, and- if it's good, it beautifies the area and it makes people, you know, more apt to hang around and mm-hmm. you know have a good time. But at the same time, you're also being a dill hole. So, yeah, I almost just drank this without you guys. This smells fantastic. I thought the same thing when I was pouring. Cheers! Gentlemen. Cheers! Oh whoa! Now that lives up to the name. Golden Doodle, wow, well, or like juicy, juicy. That's a, that's a juicy IPA, <laughs> pineapple. I yeah. I get like oh, it's yeah. like pineapple juice. It it's like you poured out a can, yeah, all the juice right. in yeah. a can of, of pineapples. Well, for me, it's like the um, I don't get that on like the big like when I first take the sip, but like you know when you drink pineapple juice and then you like exhale, you yeah, get that like acidic kind of it, it, it like intensifies the flavor for whatever right. reason. I get the same exact thing in this one exactly. Pear and orange. And we nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've said this tastes like pineapple maybe 40 times in my life when describing these kind of beers. Yeah. This is the first time where I could be given this non alcoholic and would think that it is actually. Yeah. It is very strong pineapple flavor. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of shocking to find out that it's not pineapple i mean that is yeah. all pineapple to me i'm like what are you looking on here like because i'm in a kind of a state of disbelief <laughs> but uh it's a cool know. looking can yeah well okay it says pear plus orange plus zany so <laughs> wild card you know zany. Like, 
What f- language? <laughs> in what language is pineapple zany? Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting you know subtle notes of zany. Yeah, and... is this kind of is this kind of wild or crazy yeah. to you guys? Or not, not quite. What is it? Uh, I'm, I'm getting That's like zany. some some like pussyfoot. Uh, <laughs> may, maybe a little uh, debauchery. Thank God you kept going. <laughs> Have you guys seen that whitest kids you know skit? It's not funny enough for me to repeat. Okay. okay. We'll just But it's kind of funny and it's related to <laughs> okay. anyways. I believe that there is a whitest kid you know sketch on the thing that we yeah. 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 You're like, yeah, that's that's them. Yeah. <laughs> I remember freshman year of high school. Speaking of tagging uh, oh. school structures. Yeah. yeah, you know me. <laughs> yeah. Well tag tag the all my buildings in my high school in Nuevo, California. <laughs> The the can is just like this like modge podge of like notebook doodles that it's it's like really it's mm. kind of got this like gold thing going on and like it's that same matte finish that like the um, right. what, the what was it the um, it wasn't I modern. know what you're talking about that, that was episode. a there was the new modern, modern times, times. Yeah. modern yeah. times oh okay it was one of the weird ones yeah and it was there like, was two of them yeah it's matte. A matte yeah this is a sticker mm-hmm that's cool. yeah that's I don't think that's a sticker. But I think that's just like the finish. So they, it's like a shrink wrap oh, okay. plastic thing. Yeah. They like slide the plastic sleeve over it and then they heat it and it. This is delicious. Yeah. I want another one of these. That's good. It, it's what I like about it is it's enough IPA to be an IPA, but not so much that you're like, you gotta like brush your teeth afterwards. Uh-huh. You know, you don't have yeah. to like clean your tongue off. Yeah. It's like, like having a menthol. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is like having a menthol or like well, double I, IPA is like having a menthol? <laughs> <laughs> this is like the menthol version oh, of a double IPA. This is oh, when okay. you want a cigarette, but you don't want to taste it's, like cigarettes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like having a shot of vodka and then having a uh, pineapple chaser. Yeah. I, I hardly really get any IPA out of this. Oh. Just enough mm-hmm. to, you're right, it, you hit it n- mm-hmm. nail on the head. Well, there. To me, this is also like not boozy at all. And I, you, You're right. You, it's like none. I don't think it is boozy. Oh, it's six point three. Yeah, yeah six point three. So I would have guessed a little lower. I, yeah, well, so it, and and I don't want to fillet myself too hard, but I feel like I'm pretty good at guessing. <laughs> you are a wreck. So. <laughs> <laughs> Now's the time. On the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, they can't Shocking. See it. <laughs> Anyways, um, I feel like I'm pretty good at guessing the alcohol, and I get nothing in that. Yeah. Like I, I would if I was forced to guess this, it would be purely on the style. And if this was a mystery beer and I didn't know a style, I would have no idea. I would it would mm-hmm. be four percent mm-hmm. or something. Oh yeah. But we should have brought this to the creek last week. Yeah, I could have had a couple of these. Well, I was looking at that that photo I took of you. Well, like you were in like the the shallow end in the. Did your phone like fuck up, I got or that did too. you edit it? That no. photo. And if I sent it to you guys, and it was like hor- purple. There was what? like a purple. Oh you my god! <gasps> I, I I thought I was having a stroke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought your phone like corrupted the file. Oh well, it's fine when I look at it in the gallery. It's probably if I sent it, it to yeah, you. Yeah, it probably just got fucked up when you sent it. But it probably got because it looks. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, this is some like 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 pop art. Like, <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Je- yeah. This was Jeremy did this for like a project or something <laughs> in school. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, yeah. Anyway, I I was just looking at that and I was like. Drinking and creaking. Yeah. Like, and it creaking. didn't. It doesn't rhyme, but no. it, it's a slant rhyme. Yeah, it's close. Yeah. It, it's alliteration. If you least. if you had like a really heavy southern accent, yeah. it might work. <laughs> I was gonna try it. I thought I'd better I not know. embarrass myself. <laughs> this is a creek beer. For oh, yeah, for sure. And they don't market it as such either. It seems like yeah. The, you're the, to me, totally this is a debate re- that we went to that tap opening at majestic mm. or whatever mm-hmm. i don't know what to call We're it be anymore. talking about that not to spoil that discussion <laughs> but the, uh, the the design of this can would fit that better the yeah. weed smoking dankness yeah, yeah. The dank. of, of a really strong yeah. double ipa yeah which this is not that by any Mariah, stretch of yeah. imagination and at five dollars for a 16 ounce can i might not want to spend that on a creek trip uh, yeah it's kind of um special occasion thing but yeah I, if, if i was gonna drink one beer for the night though and i had to like nurse it i guess this one because really i think the opposite i think if i went into a bar 
not having had any beer in a week, on a Friday night, I've had a long week, and I order this because it is marketed as a really strong... Oh. So it's... I mean, it's not marketed that way. We're we're interpreting this from the, the design of the can. Yeah, sure. But, okay. But still. Yeah. A hazy IPA. Juicy I, IPA. I, okay. <laughs> All right. Man, fuck me. Whatever. He's fuck. back. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it. I agree completely. Still. If, if I looked at that can and it anticipated what I thought it was going to taste like and drank it in the mood when I want the beer that it looks uh, like, I would be a little disappointed by this. This is mm-hmm. not big enough mm-hmm. to me to match the can. Yeah. However, it's still great. Uh, being oh, yeah. called a juicy IPA, I, to me, this is de facto mm-hmm. juicy IPA. This is the almost the like milestone. This is what other standard. Juicy, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is what other juicy IPAs should be judged on. Mm-hmm. I'd write home about this one. I'd let this one eat crumbs in the bed, Nick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one gets the pass. I have a number in mind. I, too, have a number I, I, in mind. I'm kind of bouncing between two. And Do you want to go first, Nick? Yeah. 75. Oh, 80. I'm between those two. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to say 77, seven, yeah. and we're going to leave it at that. That's a great beer. Uh, that's the Shop Beer Company, Juicy... I'm sorry, Golden Doodle Juicy IPA. Ah. If you can um, find it somewhere, they're out of Arizona like, brewed. Whoa! What? What the fuck? Where? Phoenix? I've never heard of them. <laughs> this Shut is up. when we lose all of our viewers because our credibility <laughs> just goes out the window. Oh shit! These guys don't know what. They're oh, they about. they know Ninkasi sold out three states away, but they don't know fucking uh, the shop is in Phoenix. Tempe. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have to visit them. I like that. I don't know if that's representative of the rest of their beers, but mm-hmm. I'm kind of glad they're in Phoenix, <laughs> right? Because now we can go. Puts them on the map. Mm-hmm. Uh, like we can, we can actually venture out. What do we have on deck? Oh. We have a Modern Times Hazy Mosaic IPA. I guess that's at bat, not on deck, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, both. It, right, it, it was on deck. Now it's at bat, right? Oh, okay. Wait, what? It's in the bullpen, and now it's pitching. Yeah, on, on deck means it's like swinging, Ready. like warming up. Yeah, at bat is it's out on the plate. Did you see that? Uh, you don't you don't watch basketball, right? No. Did you? But you might have seen this as a fellow uh, redditor, the Damian Illard three point shot to win the series in the playoffs. At like it was a buzzer beater, like thirty-seven, feet, like five feet back from the three-point line. Yeah, fully covered, hands in his face, zero seconds on the clock. Nailed it. Nailed it. That's awesome. To I win the did, series, I did not see it. Yeah, it was pretty good. Oh, I'll take all the beer you want to give me. <laughs> I feel like because yours is wider but shorter, I'm like really like shortchanging you. But then when you think about it, you have like the majority of the beer in your cup because yeah. Volume, right? <laughs> because <Ooh>. volume. <laughs> Cheers. It's got a fun, Cheers. Funny smell. Cheers, gentlemen. What is that? It's like wet dog. Tastes much better than than it smells. Yeah, I I put you know I was drinking it, and I I furrowed my brow when I <laughs> was taking a sip. I quite like that. That's unique. You guys get like a weedy aftertaste. Like yeah. a kind of a grainy yeah. flavor. I like that a lot. I like almost any beer that has that. I like that. You like a wheat? Yeah, same same kind of thing with like rye. Yeah, there's like a couple of flavors. If I get a little hint of it in a beer, wheat and I'm rye like, are Ooh. pretty similar. Yeah. I, well, yeah. so rye has this kind of like weird, like almost sour flavor mm-hmm. to it, you know. Yeah. And wheat yeah. is kind of a breadier. I feel the the rye the most, but I'm gonna read you off the the things they've listed here. So un- under the hops category, they've listed Mosaic, um, Simcoe. 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 Equinot. <laughs> Beats me. Uh, <laughs> uh, Denali, Eureka, and Nugget. Or Nougat? I don't Nugget. Know. Nugget. And then for malts, uh, two row. Caramel. Oh, hold on. Caramel. Stop it. 20. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> We're reaching now. Get fucked. <laughs> What's its final gravity, Sean? <laughs> Uh, Fi- wait, does it say? Yes. Oh, final gravity? Oh, give me a second. 
we're in the weeds now. <laughs> yeah. What did you say earlier about I don't want to fillet myself too much <laughs> here. 10, 15. No, 1.011. 1. 1. 1. 1. You're pretty close. 1.012. 1. 1. 1. 2. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, I'll take an imaginary point for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, the malts are two-row oats and white wheat, and I think that's what's yeah, given us is. that rye. Yeah. Yeah, th- th- this isn't like as... Um, I guess it's more hazy than it is juicy, right? Yeah, I, I don't get like that really big like pineapple or mm-hmm. something flavor. So mosaic hops are kind of fruity flavor, okay. and mm-hmm. you kind of get that in this, but mm-hmm. it's not nearly to the extent as the, of the last one, mm-hmm. which was like super hoppy yeah. or super juicy. Yeah. Yeah. I get like a weird, the smell that you were saying smelled mm-hmm. off. I kind of get like a weird... Again, here's where I go into the weeds that nobody understands. But like a, when you stick your nose into the <laughs> asshole of a cow. No. Um, <laughs> like when you have like wild mint oh. and you just like dig your nose like straight into there. It's got like – it doesn't really smell like mint, but there's like this weird kind of astringent smell to it. Oh, well, it does – yeah, there, there's a part that tastes uh, – botanical like th- there is like kind of a floral leafy yeah yeah just part of the mint plant that isn't mint <laughs> <laughs> right yeah kind of when you're like cutting a mowing a lawn mm. Maybe mm-hmm. just a little bit I don't yeah know. um i see that but yeah th- this is like compared to the last one it's a hazy you know juicy kind of similar maybe not as like to the same caliber but still pretty close so so i th- I'll put it this way. I think if the last one was the bar with which we measure the benchmark with which we measure other juicy IPAs, I think this is kind of a metric with which we measure yeah, hazy. other hazy yeah. IPAs. Because this, to me, mm-hmm. is what I said before. This is like the hazy IPA mm-hmm. flavor to me. This is kind of what I come to yeah. expect. With a little wheat uh, that, that I don't necessarily expect, but the same kind of. It's welcome. Flavor. Right. Yeah. It's good. Um, I like this. I want to say even more because it is just more beer flavor. Sure. This is okay. all, that was all juice, and this is, you know, oh, hops okay. and yeah. grain. Yeah. I'm not probably going to reflect that in my rating. <laughs> <laughs> Me yeah. either, actually. Yeah. Oh. I, I want to give it a lower rating than I'm going to give that. Yeah. Okay, um, thank God. <laughs> but, <laughs> I, I didn't want to be the asshole on this. <laughs> But I want I want to like it more. That's right. True. If, it's still very good. If it could just like have a little more flavor, just like more like saturation of stuff in it, mm-hmm. then I'd, I'd definitely give it a higher. I'm, you need to just like pour two ounces of that beer into this beer. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You just need a both little out. bit of fruit on top of all of this. Mm-hmm. That'd be perfect. Because it's devoid of anything other than grain and hop. I got a number. I have a number as well. Yeah. Going last. Are you I, the, I the person at the restaurant who says, Oh, you oh, guys we, go ahead. We we can order. I'll just go last. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then thanks. everyone orders fast. And then you're like, oh, yeah. Well, oh, does the clam chowder have clams in it? Because I'm allergic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to need a minute. <laughs> just cross all their orders oh, out. God. I have a number. 70. 73. 70. <laughs> All right, seventy-one point five. You know, by the time we hit like the third decimal place, we're gonna have to <laughs> start rounding to some of these. Yeah. Yeah. So, beer advocate allows you to kind of tamper with the decimals a little bit, and Untapped is just like no. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is discreet. It's yeah. Very integer focused, which hats off to my elementary school math teacher for teaching me the word integer. I've heard that word before too. Yeah, we must have the same teacher. That means like a, <laughs> that's like a number without any decimal points, right? Well, it, it, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are counting numbers, which is one, two, three, and so Etc. on. There are real no hold on oh shit oh god what do i do oh, dude, no. <laughs> counting numbers and then there's another one that is zero is is included 
So counting numbers, you start at one. These other numbers, you start at zero. And then integers are all, it includes the negatives as well. Okay, but then so there's just no, whole numbers. Whole, whole numbers, just, thank ah, you. Zero okay. is a whole number, but negative one is not. Right. But, but as an in, negative one is an integer. Right. One because, is an integer, a whole number, and a counting number. Mm-hmm. Anyways, that this is the first time math has come up on the show. And I <laughs> yeah. uh, had to throw your head into the <laughs> ring a little bit. Is it me, or is like does like the kind of some of the bad stuff sink to the bottom? I, I can't tell if it's sinking to the bottom or if it's I'm getting you know my taste buds are changing as I drink more. Uh-huh. But, uh huh. But I'm getting more and more bitter. Yeah. In this, yeah, as okay. I go. Yeah. And I kind of like it. And okay. I kind of don't like it. Like, well, you're more of a, a better guy yeah. and stuff. But. In in all regards, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, I guess I shouldn't call it bad. It's just more bitter. This is exactly what I was saying about the last beer not having that I wanted. This like really strong, punchy, yeah. bitter, uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, a kick in the teeth. The the hops. Like, I want to be kicked in the fucking face. With a donkey hoof at the end of the week, you know, just like something to wake you hit up. me. Come on, man. I, I might be dead. I need something to tell me that I'm alive. <laughs> the only right. thing is pain, and that pain comes from That's these hops. Right. Mm. You're like the Joker in the Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> hit me, man. Come on, do it. You won't. Ugh. That last sip didn't sit so well. That was kind yeah, of yeah. But the more I drank it, the more bitter it got, and then the. Probably the final sip. It went, it went from very mild to IPA to sandpaper. And mm-hmm. I could have done without that last. Mm. Mm. Oh. Could have left it at hops. I, I didn't get like that bad of a response. <laughs> to sandpaper. Maybe I poured yours like well, last. Here or something. I'm like, this is great. It's like sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> this is maybe you want a, uh, an Abbey mm. or a strong American. Yeah. Man. Need, need some arrogant bastard in your life? No. Need some other beer? I need a dark Sabbath in my life. Which Black Sabbath, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I I could never get into Black Sabbath. Really? I tried. I For me, it was like, I, I got into Black Sabbath after right. I got into like heavy metal. Oh. So to me, I was like, oh my God, like that's where this comes from. Like this, right. is, this was the impetus for all you, these other bands. And then you had a hard time like getting out. Oh, yeah. The, well, so yeah, and yeah. so now Black Sabbath is like the Bible. It's like this holy mm-hmm. text that I is like it can do no wrong until the fifth album, mm-hmm. and then we for, we don't talk about that. But <laughs> well, that's good. It means our music tastes are exact opposite, <laughs> but we're like reaching, you yeah. know, like trying yeah. to reach across the aisle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you ever heard their first album? Yeah. You don't like their first album? It's just hard to get into. I, when I was in middle school, I tried to get into Led Zeppelin, and I was having a hard time. Yeah. But then yeah. I like really got into it, and still to this day, I can't get into the first. I, I can't get into any of Black Sabbath music. It's just like that's weird. I that's can't. funny. I so to me, I would have thought your their first album would have been right up your alley because their second, third, and fourth albums are like more like. Heavy metal, right? But their first album has it's like it's the like, Stooges, uh, yeah. Almost. Ozzy's playing harmonica, and right? Shit, and that yeah. throws a lot of my people off. Mm-hmm. A lot of the heavy metal yeah. heads are like, oh, "This is kind of hokey," but I'm it, like, "Fuck yeah!" Maybe it has something to do with. I don't really like his voice. He's got a he's got a strange voice, and it, so it, does Robert Plant. But yes, but if you don't like his voice, I don't think you're gonna like. Yeah. Really, anything of there. I I'm really touch and go on Led Zeppelin. In fact, mm. so there you go. Huh. How are you, Jeremy? Oh, I'm doing fine. <laughs> also oh a fan boy, of Led Zeppelin. Oh, that's right, beer. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. Um, today we have uh, a Deschutes, the Fresh Haze, India Pale Ale, a, a 2019. I hope <laughs> a vintage. Yeah. Yes, actually, yeah. It's uh, packaged on 12 2018. We're in the clear. <laughs> was within the last six months. <laughs> so we reviewed a Fresh Squeezed, which is the clear filtered version of this. Non-haze. Yeah. Oh, you leave it at that. Oh, God, yeah. This is a 12 ounce. Holy shit. Yeah. I almost like gave you half of this. <laughs> What's 12 divided by three? Four. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Genius. I, this, is, this is why I'm here. I'm the math guy. You know? <laughs> no, no one else here could have d- done that. Uh, anyways. 
done that calculation. Yeah. You know? It would, it, would, it would have taken me like five seconds. Luckily, I have my <laughs> you did it in one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Cheers. Fresh cheers. haze. Cheers. I I forgot the um the original score we gave the other one mm-hmm. the one that was like in a bottle this one left like a much like first impression first sip like much clearer much better than, yeah to uh, me this is kind of what Nick was describing this is like half and half of the last two oh. where there's like a little beer flavor there's a little juicy flavor but it's kind of the whole package. Mm. It's bright, it's clear, it's very focused. Mm-hmm. Doesn't muddle around and all this like crap, you know. Like it, it, it hits one note and it hits it really hard without being kind of a one-trick pony. It's not mm-hmm. boring, but it knows what it does. I'd say it's a, actually a little more nuanced than like sort of what we've been describing as one-trick ponies. Because like the first one we had, I, I'd use that descriptor. This one at least has two. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, mm-hmm. it's a dialogue, not a monologue. Uh, <laughs> I, I sort of go back and forth whether I would rather have a fresh squeezed or a fresh haze because they are not the same, and it's kind of hard to compare the two. Uh, I'll put mm-hmm. it this way. My drinking scenario would be going back and forth between the two because I think by the end of one, I'm You're ready, ready for the other. Yeah. And, and I don't think I could drink one of these all day, but I could drink both of them all day mm-hmm. provided it was back and forth. I don't know. It, it really reminds me of the time we were at the creek again. Not to like beat this horse to death, but um, it's it's sort of got that kind of like what is it like s- salty but not salty. It's just a lighter flavor, easy drinking. It's not, yeah, and it like doesn't weigh on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a little bit got of that like Mexican lager vibe to it. A citrus. It, brightness yeah yeah brightness that's a good without a huge there's it's an ipa and you know it's an ipa but uh, like we were saying about the other one it's it's pulled back a little bit Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah two two hearted was uh as i think i told nick that was like the most hoppy beer i ever want at the creek yeah that was good and i enjoyed it but (laughs) i would not want Anything that that was yeah, that's the that was, hard. Are you limit. saying you wouldn't want a one twenty minute <laughs> or a <laughs> fucking a, a <laughs> arrogant, <keg>. arrogant bastard <laughs> mini keg yeah. at the creek? We we did uh, <laughs> we we were like carrying that like it was like some like World War One machine gun <laughs> like through the 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 trail before yeah. it got there. It was a little shaken. <laughs> Quick, give me a beer. <laughs> 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 We we did also yeah it was shaken up and we had to yeah. <laughs> we had to like vent it, it out. for like five minutes to <laughs> let all this built up yeah. CO two out so so every glass wasn't a quarter ounce of beer and eleven ounces of foam yeah that was good I, that was I, a fun experience I had a good time and and that beer was I had a very relaxing day yeah sitting in the creek mm-hmm. drinking sip it on too hard and and yeah. the only yeah. the only time i got out of my chair was to, to go piss more. and then to get another <laughs> beer <laughs> the uh yeah i feel just i don't know to go back to this one that we're drinking right now um it, hindsight 2020 this one would have been a more enjoyable experience i think just yeah because of you know it, it's not as hoppy not as like boom yeah, uh, yeah. too too hard it is a good beer in a bar but, on the creek, it's a lot. Mm. Yeah, it's this, not. And this is the medium. This is more ac- more accessible. Yeah. On the creek. Uh, did Desch- you know that we went to a creek last week, guys? <laughs> Deschutes, where are the mini kegs? <laughs> yeah. Right, dude. Oh my gosh. Bells is light years ahead of the game. Why isn't that a more popular thing? Because that's great. I yeah, love Brian. that. Yeah. And it's so far, it's been bells, and then we saw that one other one that was shit. Huh. When we were at, maybe you didn't see it. When we were at Majestic buying the mini keg of Two Hearted, I saw another mini keg, and it was like, it wasn't Corona, but it was something equally. It was it was of the same tier as Corona. It was some shit lager. Hmm. And they had a mini keg, and I was like, why are these the only two people on the planet who understand (laughs) this? I bet it's really expensive. Probably, it's, it's a whole new process, right? It's a whole. You have a canning you line. Buy you have a it. bottling line. Yeah. Now you need a mini kegging line. 
Well, and you also got to think about demographics because, like, when, when I think of a kegger, <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, we're, we're going to get the cheapest beer we can get. Right. And uh, someone is going to keg stand at least half of this. Nah. So. No, nah, I'm going to defend the mini keg. Well, uh, I'm not saying anything against right. the mini keg. It's right. just like, I, I don't expect a bunch of guys in, like, you know, like white t shirts going, like, mm, like the flavor profile. But, but what I'm getting at is, I think, I think a kegger. And getting a mini keg are two very, uh, very different uh, events. Yeah. I think a kegger okay. is, let's go out of the forest and shoot guns when we're <laughs> oh, shit-faced yeah. off uh, of fucking yeah. Coors, right? Yeah. But I think of a mini keg as like, I like this beer a lot, and we're going somewhere where we need, uh, we're going to have a large quantity of beer anyways. Mm-hmm. You okay. know, like when, yeah. we, when we had it for yeah. the Super Bowl, I thought that was like a really good use of the mini keg. Mm-hmm. Is, this Perfect. is a great beer. We don't want to fuck like, around with bottles yeah. or cans. Or yeah, switching. yeah, okay. Just pour a yeah. Get back to the game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I should. I, I'm legally responsible to say you should never mix guns and alcohol. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> oh my god. We, I, 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 who, we said it as a joke. Yeah. Don't do this. I didn't say it as a joke. I say it because I know people who fucking do it. and oh, yeah. they're dumbasses. Yeah. So okay, you dude. shouldn't do it. Yeah. But that that's the demographic. Yeah. That we're speaking of. Yeah. Curse demographic. Yeah. Don't drink responsibly yeah. encompasses it all. There you <laughs> go. Just drink when all you have to do is <laughs> drink. Go to bed. Yeah. yeah. That's. Anyways. <laughs> you just said uh, that, and I was I, like sweating I, for a minute. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't. I think that's an important thing, though, is that the beer is good enough to incite just regular conversation. <laughs> Right? Yeah, I thought you were gonna say to incite gun violence. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good beer if it can make. Yeah, but, but what if we committed crimes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the, yeah. Well, and and so that is what this show is about, right? Is is mm-hmm. not us just endlessly spewing about bull, beer bullshit, but mm-hmm. it's us just. This is what it's like to hang out at the bar. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're shooting the shit. Yeah, but we're also pretty uh interested Buzz? in beer oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah oh yeah <laughs> well both both yeah. yeah i have a number for this beer oh shit oh god <laughs> was there anything that in was it? worse <laughs> it was all fun right yeah the last like three drops <laughs> you can't judge on that no you know. no okay yeah the the last couple of sips also is that a thing of hazy's that there's like there's it's, a little bit of it's hazy, so there's, there's a little bit of detritus, opaque yeah. things that fall yeah. to the bottom. And we did modern times last, mm-hmm. and then Ninkazi before that. No, and then this. That's right. The uh, that's right. The the shop. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a 75. Whoa. For me, this is right okay. between the juicy one and the modern times. I the first number I was thinking of was um was 67. Okay, yeah, actually. <laughs> Might as well. 67. 70. About nice, 70. Nice distribution. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah for me, I, I would have this before the modern times, but after the juicy. I have to I have to try this at the same time I have it fresh squeezed. Compare them side yeah. by side. Because mm. when we did that wing episode, fresh squeeze was really good. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I like this one as much. I'm kind of in the opposite camp. Where I, I'm enjoying this one more. More. Mm-hmm. So the the photo of us down in the creek, I, uh, it really is like our version of that. <laughs> Your dad. <laughs> dad. My dad. The on, two of us or the the, the four. The four yeah. of us. Yeah. It's like that. That's our version of the twelve of my dad's friends drinking PBR on top of their seventy three fucking <laughs> garbage <laughs> muscle car. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking funny. I, I want to get that printed. I, I just look like I'm passed out in the corner with a cigar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone else is like, look at this fucking chess piece. <laughs> I'm like, <sighs> smooth. <laughs> uh, what is this? Ah, yeah, of course. Um, this is a. Uh, a Sombra Haze India Pale Ale by... Um, oh, it's by Sombra Haze? Is that the... No. No. At the top? Novo Brewing Company in Brazil. They're, they're interesting because they're like Brazilian-inspired, but they're brewed in San Diego. 
I've seen their logo before, but I don't think I've ever had their beers. That looks like a hazy IPA. Looks like a... Maybe I'm going to lose some people, but that looks like a Sector 9 skateboard. The logo? No, the, the whole thing. The, 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 the design? Can. Yeah. Yeah. A Sector 9 skateboard. That's a very specific thing. Yeah. A skateboard designed in the way that Sector 9... You know. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just a pretty like, niche uh, uh, well, reference and there. And that's why I prefaced it with I might lose some people on this. <laughs> it's a very... Uh, You're fucking talking about mint weeds. And <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's got, you know, like a, a flat color field formalist uh, kind of aesthetic. God and... damn it, Jeremy. <laughs> anyway, Gentlemen. Cheers. cheers. Anyone uh, taste any pavement on this one? <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right. Uh, tastes like shredding some fucking gnar, bro. <laughs> I don't really taste much. There's not much to it, is there? I talk on this podcast a lot about like front, middle, and back of tongue. Mm. This is all front of tongue. It's like uh, you drink it, and it's like there's a flavor, and then it's gone. And like where other beers, you expect to get this other, like this second hit. This, there's nothing. It's you taste it right up front, and that's it. Yeah. Well, to me, it's like, it's really hazy, like a hazy pale ale, just hazy, and then it just, yeah, it falls off. Like, I, you know, like, there's, there's some hoppiness to it, there's some fruitiness to it. I wouldn't, I couldn't put my finger on the mm-hmm. fruit in specific, and yep. then you kind of, you're like, oh, I, I guess that's done. <laughs> it's at least more flavor, f- flavorful than the first one we had. Um, but not by much. Yeah. And it doesn't this take much to get there. Kind of kind of in league with that first one, I'd say. Yeah. Funny because these are to me, besides the juicy IPA which we have at the other extreme, these this and the first one are kind of the most extravagant looking cans. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if I'm looking for uh, you know, you shouldn't judge a book by the cover, but if I'm looking for some crazy hazy IPA, I would look at those three and I would have been disappointed by these two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I gotta read you this. So I I got a big hop. I'm sorry. I got a big wheat flavor out of the uh, what was it? The Ninkasi. One of these. Yes. Yeah. Ninkasi. One of these had a big wheat flavor to me. This says this hoppe and they H O P P E. You take from that what you want. This hop allegory is laid on a smooth and clean malt base with heaps of wheat and oats. I don't get any wheat out of this. Not more than any other beer. A two-stepped whirlpool set the playful rhythm for the dank and tropical dry hop parade of Mosaic, Simcoe, and Wakatu hops. This Wakatu. is pure, crushable, hoppy goodness. I agree. Oh, and it says, do the samba. Oh. I don't, I'm not, uh, I didn't. Take a dance class in community <laughs> college, so I don't. But anyways, <laughs> crushable is one of the only words on that oh, can that I I'll agree crush with. This can right now? No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Yourself. <laughs> you know, if if I'm at like a festival or something, and I just kind of want to get a little buzzed or smashed, it's a drink and forget. This is it. it this fits is the mood. a Greek beer. This is oh, really? great. No, so for no. me, this is perfect because it's just as like light, crisp. With a little hop kick. No. Oh, fuck you guys. No, it's he, he got it right. It's a festival beer. The fuck is the difference? Well, it's just like <laughs> there's there's eight things going on. It's like music and you're talking to people and there's like mm-hmm. dancing. And I, I don't really have time to think about my beer. I just like I want it to be fruity and tasty, kind of like a mixed drink. In contrast to the creek. Where nothing is happening, you are contemplating, and, 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 and you can just soak and in you the can have a little bit more no, going on. I don't want to yeah. think about my beer at the creek. I want to get well, shit faced and sit in the water. Well, I don't no, fucking, I, I, I don't want to have to. Pro- the whole reason the, I go to the creek is to not have to think about anything. I know you don't have to process anything, but it's a little bit more multi-chromatic than this. This I, is this. Is, I would love this at the creek. It's like if if I I didn't want to drink be, like cheap beer at a a really loud party, like you know I'd go for this one. But otherwise, it's it's I, like I would drink fucking anything at a loud party. Yeah, I don't know. It, I guess it depends on your priorities. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> but th- this one is just a little too uh, like I sound douchey saying this, but like not nuanced to be a creek beer. 
but it, it would be a perfect like I'm just having fun like I'm making an ass out of myself at yeah, this football fun game making an like, ass of myself at the creek <laughs> <laughs> this is the division and the <laughs> that's fine <laughs> the schism you know, we, we want like a little bit of the three of us should have a little bit of difference of opinion mm-hmm. bet we're all gonna rate this within 10 of each other <laughs> oh yeah dude hell yeah it's all this uh, disagreement up front, and then yeah. 60s across the board. Are, are we rating? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I would not give this a 60. In in what direction? I would rate it lower. I was real fucking close to a 60. <laughs> I would give it a 55. Oh. I'm, oh. Uh, you were railing this beer. and then I, uh, Really? I, I was going to give it a, a, a 60 for just like I, I being like 60. okay. Like, I don't know. Yeah. All right, fine. I, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. The flavor it has is very good. I mm-hmm. I love the flavor yeah. well, for for the whole half a second yeah. it's on your tongue. Gr- granted, yeah, yeah. Um, kind of what Nick's saying, like it's it's one note. It doesn't do do a whole lot. And on the other hand, I I see your perspective in that it's an easy drinking beer. So like that that is it, the beginning of the sixty. Um, it, bracket. It, it is good though uncomplicated. It's it is, yeah. It's yeah. One yeah. noted, but that note is good. Pretty much, yeah. It's like half noted. Sure. <laughs> Wait. So are are you giving it a sixty? I give it a sixty. Huh. I feel like my scale is a little different from yours, but well, to each in, of their in own. In what regard? J- I, I'm just like I I kind of like to divide things by ten and then like go from there like the. As I said before, the the sixty bracket is for by and far mostly like easy drinking beers that aren't completely nuanced. Seventies are for experimental, but they don't go far enough, or they're not good enough to be like in the eighty per, like percent. So I don't like I, the only the only thing I'll disagree with you on is mm-hmm. I don't like to limit seventies to experimental beers. Well, I mean, yeah, the, the word that, experimental yeah, that, implies some things that, that I don't necessarily, naturally. Yeah. If, if I can get like a really, really good, like everyday beer or just like, it is just a 10% or not 10%. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <Whoa. laughs> well, no, um, just like 10 more than what a 60 would be then sure. naturally, but yeah. 70 usually for me can t- contains the, the set, the experimentals. Right. Thing. Yeah. For me, this is uh, again, I give it a sixty. It's where where fifty is a little bit better than not drinking. Fifty mm-hmm. is like eh, this is all right. Okay. Uh, a sixty is like I see some like genuinely good qualities in this, though it's like r- severely lacking. In oh, other ways, okay. yeah. Which is this beer in in a sentence. Mm-hmm. Anyway, sixty. I'd, <laughs> I'd like to have more of their beers. Right. Uh, I see see what they're about, especially with the like the Brazilian thing. Brazil does have kind of an up and coming brewing scene, which is kind of cool. Okay. But well, that does it for the six pack. Is that six? That's that six. Was six. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're gonna take a little break and come back and hit you with some beer news, followed by our standard two mystery beer fair. You're listening to Beer Right Back, the Lounge Beer Podcast. You know, I'm surprised we don't say we're going to beer right back at the end of the. So that, yeah, the, that's kind of the whole point of the, oh, okay. the name is the yeah. is the pun and it should be. We should say that. More. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see how our ratings stack up? Check us out on Untapped and Beer Advocate. Like listening to Beer Right Back? Get our T-shirts and gear at teespring.com/stores/beer-right-back. Welcome to Beer Right Back, the Lounge Beer Podcast. Uh, now we're on to the uh, brewing news, our segment where we cover things about brewing and news. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll go first. I think it was last week we uh, went down to one of our lovely beer providers, Majestic, <laughs> and um, we, we tried a, a new release by them, I believe, um, Waldo's by Lagunitas. Lagunitas. They made a big show of it, uh, mostly because it was um, well. It was on. It was on uh, the nineteenth of April <laughs> at exactly four nineteen. <laughs> um, oh yeah, was, dude! It was a very hoppy beer. This new release, very dank hops. Very hop of that. Dank. Um, 
And I think you, you had a little anecdote about why they, they did yeah, this special so, segment. So, and I'm paraphrasing here, but the legend is that uh, there were these two brothers. <laughs> the legend goes. <laughs> <laughs> Saith ye. <laughs> and there were these two guys, the Waldos brothers, who uh, had some huge legendary pot farm up in the mountains in California. And and every year on 420, the, the guys who started Lagunitas Brewing would go up into the mountains and try to find this weed farm. And uh, so they made this beer to commemorate that. And, uh, oh, anyways, it's a great beer. It's a triple <laughs> IPA. It's this Holy really, shit, really yeah. weed flavor. It's very dank. Yeah, it's the oh. biggest dank flavor I yeah. ever had out of beer. Right, and, and I was telling... I was telling Nick, uh, when we went up to order, this guy in front of me, I thought I thought he had just smoked before he came in. And, and maybe he had, but certainly n- now <laughs> I like have this thought, like maybe he just like had this beer and that's all I smelled. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Didn't have to be uh, Yeah, it was it was very um aromatic right. <laughs> in in nature and Jesus Christ, like they 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 went as far as they could without just putting actual THC right. in this beer. Mm. <laughs> and again, they, they do in California. They uh, mm. Lagunitas has some THC-infused beers. California uh, is recreational right. uh, legal now. We're, right? wait, oh, we're okay. waiting on uh, Arizona yeah. to, to, to have a, a very mellow episode. <laughs> <of the Iraq. laughs> uh, That's right. In the meantime, Waldo's is all we've got. I've had it before in bottles. Have you guys? You I've guys, had one in bottle. Uh, did you like it? I think it's better out of the tap, and I think this year was better than last year's. Yeah. Or it was something. It, it. I had it way after. Is I it, had it in like September. One. Okay. So it was pretty old by yeah. that point. And I think uh-huh. a lot of that dankness gets lost mm. in transition because this one was really strong. You're right. It was like it was almost like I think one of us mentioned that it was like weed hash. It was yeah. like the the just this viscous. You know, dankness. Yeah. That, you know, get out of okay. just regular weed. I think I've said this before about uh, other, like, uh, IPA, like, double IPA kind of um, things. And it was like, oh, like, it kind of leaves that, like, like, that, like, that just your your tongue feels a little the stickier. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, you're almost like a little numb in the mm-hmm. tongue. Um, this one went all in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on, yeah. uh, the, you know, it lived up to a triple IPA. In every sense of that sentence, um, geez, like it wasn't like I'd have a second one of those kind of things, but I, you know, what a great right IPA. One, one's plenty. Yeah, I, I think we all struggled even finishing ten ounces of it. Oh if yeah, I recall. Mm. So that's a uh, it's a big beer. It's a good triple IPA, and I think uh, I think I mentioned while we were there. That I've had a lot of beers that call themselves double or triple IPAs, and it's really just an IPA. Like today. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was a triple IPA every step of the way. This was 100% exactly what I think a triple IPA mm-hmm. should be. A, a double IPA is like, wow, that's hoppy. And this is like the next Jesus step, which Christ. is like, oh <laughs> yeah. my God, I'm eating hops. Yeah. <laughs> Anymore, um, I would have had like an epiphany and <laughs> blacked out. And <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Good beer. Uh, good on Lagunitas for making it. It was great out of the yeah. tap, and uh, good on Majestic Marketplace for hosting this event. It was a good time. Uh, we had a good, we had fun, anyways. Uh, on to some brewing news, or on to some more brewing news. More uh, widespread, right? Yeah, that's Le- less kind of local. A... Yeah, Guinness is removing plastic from their packaging, from their multi-pack packaging. Uh, plastic ring carriers and shrink wrap will be removed from packs of Harp. Rockshore, Smithwick's, and Guinness as part of Diageo's, or Diageo's, I don't know how you pronounce that, 16 million pound initiative. The change will be phased in with multi packs, multi can packs sold in 100% recyclable and biodegradable cardboard in Ireland from August this year. Good on them. I like hearing that. They're not doing like the plastic rings or the, the six. The, the can six pack holders over the top mm-hmm. or anything. Yeah. It's all cardboard, which is pretty cool. Especially from a big brewer. That's good news. Yeah. Here we've been talking a lot recently about brands 
redesigning their labels and Bells is the newest addition to this. Bells is redesigning the Kalamazoo Porter. I'm sorry, the Kalamazoo Stout and the Porter. The Kalamazoo, I think, looks great. Porter, I'm not so hot about. But uh, let me, here's here's the Kalamazoo Stout redesign. Oh. I think it's kind of cool. It's like this old, like, speakeasy kind of yeah, uh, 30s. Oh, almost like saloon yeah, font. Yeah, exactly. Gold yeah. or brass kind of, yeah. Oh, right. I think it looks yeah. pretty neat. Porter is kind of this new, I don't know, I'm like, not... I'm not. Like, 70s like cassette tape yeah kind of thing. a little I, boring to me it's not yeah. that doesn't really like jump off the page of me like kalamazoo kalamazoo is kind mm-hmm. of a eye-catching well if that, if that tastes like coffee i could actually see why they did that yeah but, uh, yeah and depends. i think i think the look matches the flavor but uh as far as like the graphic design goes i'm not it is a little bland yeah yeah it's just kind of it's just there uh, and my last piece is Texas uh, moves to expand alcohol sales on Sundays and at breweries. So Texas, I think, is kind of the the most archaic state as far as alcohol sales are concerned, uh, with the exception Utah. Po- possibly yeah. of Utah. But even Texas, now now breweries in Texas for a long time have complained about how difficult it is to get their products sold outside of the bar in the brewery. Oh. But at, oh. For, for people who want to drink it at home, it's been historically difficult. And I guess they are not changing... Uh, I'm sorry. They're not changing sales at liquor stores. However, they are making it easier... They're making it possible for breweries to sell their beers to go oh. at, the, at the brewery. Wow. Okay. So you can take cans home... Uh, this article from uh, the Texas Tribune is saying that every other state, it is legal to buy closed beverages at a brewery to take home with you, mm. except Texas. Texas, is, it has not historically been legal to do that. They're changing that. They're also, this is funny, they are expanding Sunday liquor sales. They were historically... From noon to, I don't know, maybe perhaps 2 a.m. They're expanding it to 10 a.m. Wow. To 2 a.m. So they're they're opening it by two hours. It passed in a 99 to 40 vote. So there were 40 people who were like, no. We, 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 <laughs> we, I, you know, that's a little dicey. Do we want people drinking at 10 a.m.? It is legal in restaurants to order a mimosa. You can order alcohol at 10 a.m., oh. but you can't go to the liquor store and buy it at 10 a.m. Mm. And, and these people are saying, like, look, this is ridiculous. And apparently 40, 40 people were like, not quite. Yeah, I mean, there's quite a few uh, conservative constituencies in Texas, so yeah. Yeah. I am not surprised by that. Yeah. Well, it's a, very, it's a very Utah thing. Uh, it, or it, it's in the same vein of, like, I don't even know what to call that. Like... Um, anti-alcoholic religious uh, yeah. something yeah. something like <laughs> there are breweries that aren't even open on Sundays yeah at all oh. in Utah well yeah and, and I don't think liquor stores are allowed to be open on Sundays mm-hmm. so yeah I, I mean th- there's still a lot of I don't want to call it backwards but some very like prohibition era attitudes towards alcohol I agree. Uh, to this day in some of these states yeah so good of Texas to be uh, kind of coming out of it, opening up some some ability for brewers to well, sell their beers. Huh, that, that, that's like a little conflicting with what I've heard before about Texas, where it's like, oh, you know, like the drive through beer station and right. et cetera, et cetera. Which is literally still a thing, as far as I'm aware, oh. is you can still drive through. I don't know about Texas. I think in, I don't want to get this wrong, but I'm going to. <laughs> I think in like Tennessee... You can drink and drive. Like you can go through a drive-through liquor store, order a screwdriver, and you can sip on it while you drive home. Whoa, which is not okay. <laughs> uh, full stop. But is uh, anywhere else in the country? So you kind of think of Texas as being in kind of the same realm, and yeah. apparently they are not. So there was this documentary I saw on Netflix that was talking about how hard it is for brewers to operate in Texas. To the point where they were saying, if you are a brewery 
who wants to sell your alcohol in a liquor store in Texas, you should go to Oklahoma to open your brewery. Whoa. Because it is easier for an out-of-state brewery to sell alcohol in, in a Texas. Texan liquor store same with than Utah. it is for a Texan brewer to sell their liquor in the same liquor store. Next door to their brewery. Huh. Harder than hell. But if you're out of state, it's much easier. And, Damn. And apparently the same thing in Utah. Some backwards law just seems like you're mm. pushing business out of your state into mm. other states. Seems counterintuitive to what you would want as a policy maker. Right. Exactly. That's it for Brewing News. That's all I have. Yep. Uh, on to Mystery Beers. Mystery Beers. Yeah. Hmm. How should I preface this one? <laughs> Don't. C- close eyes. Okay. <laughs> all right. Close your eyes. Oh. <laughs> Sounds good. Sean is still erect after all this time. If your erection lasts longer than four hours, consult a doctor. Drink a beer. <laughs> Calm down, pussy. <laughs> That'll kill it. Oh uh, yeah, it is a glass bottle, isn't it? It didn't it didn't crack. I bet it's a big glass bottle yeah, too. Yeah, it sounds heavy. Uh, we go into you can like open the, your eyes. Now. We go into the full meta. Yeah. We're like uh, little kids the day before Christmas. Yeah. Like getting uh, a stethoscope no, scope not, out and there's no way that's to... Legos. I know what Legos <laughs> sound like. That's not Legos. <laughs> So that, that, yeah. that is, is a, Monopoly, a I Tim Allen action figure. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell by the racism noises. <laughs> 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 Gentlemen. Uh, cheers. 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 That kind of looks like a hazy IPA, don't it? Kind of tastes like a hazy IPA, don't it? I get a little, I get a little bit of that same weedy flavor. I get pine. Wow. You did make a face there <laughs> when you were. Nick's, Nick's pine face is very distinguishable. Oh, mm. That's right. That's what he majored in. As, yeah. a, as a pine major. Yeah. Uh, you can you can just like hear his degree. He's like, he's am like I wrong? Or is there like a There's very some pine, pine sap flavor in this? Uh, I've never had pine sap. But this is kind of piney. Yeah, this I is very that. piney. It does remind me of, yeah. Wow. That's like all I get. Oh, yeah. I mean, I get some like IPA and... I get hazy IPA. Yeah. <laughs> sure. There are no other distinguishable flavors. This I is, can't say this is pineapple, this is mango. This is not a fruity, yeah, I juicy know. IPA like the previous ones have been. This is a pine hop rather than a, Jesus. a fruity tropical hop. However, I don't drink this and go, oh my God, it's pine sap. I just drink this and go, it's an IPA. I think the pine is going to make me think that this is a higher IBU than it actually is. Okay, thank God the, the stats are actually on here. <laughs> <laughs> Saved by the bell, dude. <sighs> oh, Should have looked those up earlier. <laughs> what uh, what hop is it that's just ABV? Which one do you want first? ABV. I'll, I'll do ABV first. Well, I... Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, oh who, who, which person do you want? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll go six. I always get them backwards for a second. And I'm like, this is more than six. <laughs> like, Nick, come on. <laughs> you know that. You're better than this, Nick. Seven. 4.8%. Wow. It's the pine. Yeah. Four? Point eight. <laughs> Five? <laughs> yeah. But Jesus. One, two, <laughs> three... It's not an integer, but <laughs> it is a real number, and it's a rational number. You're going IBU. Fifty-five. Sixty. As listed on the can, forty-four IBU. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> so I just missed it. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we're I guess you we're get, within five. Get, yeah, you yeah. get the point. All right. Damn. Oh, uh, this is a tame one. <laughs> it's the pine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Pine really throws you off. Deceptive. As soon as I said sixty, I was like, I should have gone on the other side of Sean. I was gonna say sixty-five at first, and then like the longer I drink, and I'm like, that I don't get the full sixty-five out of that. Mm-hmm. Are we guessing Brewer? or Are we done? Let's do Brewer, since <laughs> since we okay. suck. Yeah. Let's be wrong about this too. <laughs> yeah. Sweet dude. 
Um, it's good conversation. Who else <laughs> makes a hazy IPA? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Any guess is a good guess. Not the ones I have. <laughs> um, I I keep coming back to like every time we do brewer, I come back to the, like the same three brewers every time, and I have eliminated all of them, and so now I'm just like oh, fucking I don't know. <laughs> Stone, tombstone. Are you guys ready? <laughs> it's neither, right? <laughs> no, no, it's neither of those. Okay, <laughs> okay, thank God. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's a mother road. It's the Daily Driver. Whoa. God yep. damn it! Ale. Fuck! <laughs> it's a session. That's why it's so low. Yeah. God uh, damn it, Nick. We, we're better than this. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> we should be better than this. I think I've only had the Daily Driver like a couple times, though. So. I, I like the Daily Driver a lot. <laughs> when I was asking, how should I preface this? I really wanted to say... I didn't, but I really wanted to say, well, in, in Nick's text, he said, it's going to be really hard to find another hazy, so you can do whatever you want as long as it's within the pale ale range or something <laughs> along those lines. And I was like, okay, like that opens it up a bit. Mm-hmm. And uh, that, that looked and tasted like a hazy. Mm-hmm. What, when I first saw this one, I was like, this will at least throw them for... Throw them for a loop. Yeah, throw them for a loop. Hell yeah. I, I, like, I like a strong pine... Mm-hmm. flavor mm-hmm. in a hop well and especially in a, like a session it kind of makes up for the lower everything god can you imagine like a super strong abv like a boozy beer combined with a super pine tar yeah. resin uh, like oh be too much yeah it'd be heartburn central right there that's a good one yeah this is uh this is kind of what I fall back on when I go to Mother Road is I'll get a tower station because you have to get a tower station, and then <laughs> it's a flagship. If you, if you don't, you're gonna <laughs> get murdered in yeah. an alleyway the next <laughs> night. Yeah. Um, and then my second beer is either a Lost Highway if I'm feeling that way, Lost or Hi- yeah. one of these if I'm feeling this way. They they recommend a a tulip shaped glass on the can here. <laughs> How about a mason jar? <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. Once you start getting to like glass shape, I might as well be drinking wine or something, right? Put it in a glass, and that's it. Yeah. Full stop. Yeah. If it's in a glass, you're doing good. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what. This is like the heat of summer. This is like ninety plus degree temperature kind of beer. Mm-hmm. Need a little something to get you through. Yeah. A little something. Indeed. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope I didn't stray too far from the mm. well, the category. You had us, you had us confused. We thought right. it was. I thought it was, it was hazy, anyways. Okay, mm-hmm. it wasn't whiskey, but it also wasn't like a like a stout. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, give us a stout next. <laughs> That'd be great. We'll really, we'll really uh, be thrown for a loop. Yeah. That's is, that a, is that a juicy IPA? <laughs> I guess some pineapple or a. Maple bacon flavored <laughs> stout. It's just really, really, really hazy. That's yeah. why it's black. Yeah. <laughs> so hazy you can't see through it at all. Yeah. Light cannot transmit through this mirror. <laughs> this is a black hole. Yeah. <laughs> Parabola. This is the <laughs> black body radiation. This is what the this is what scientists use to yeah. to measure. <laughs> this is Vanta Black. <laughs> yeah. Why is Vanta Black like why does it suck in all light? It's like the blackest black, right? Mm-hmm. It's just but, more. Well, black. it's just it's just the yeah, material that the, absorbs more light. Mm-hmm. Another. It, it's like, have you seen it in person? No, ever I've before? never seen it in person. But but I, I but I've seen videos and it's it is nothing. And right. people have described it in person as being like, it is like there's a hole in the fabric of reality. Time. Yeah. yeah. It is also like really toxic when you apply it and like you need like a specialized like suit and team to yeah. do so so it's kind of like it's neat but is it worth it kind of right. thing like um yeah i've never seen it i would love to see it in person but yeah. uh it is yeah i even photographs of it look like someone like photoshopped the silhouette of an object right. out of the picture yeah. it's they ridiculous ju- yeah it's just like they dragged an oval yeah. out in photoshop yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. turned it black there's no edge to this fucking like black man. And, and I would say photos of it do not do it justice purely because like your camera introduces some noise into that oh, picture yeah. artificially, whether there's light there or not. 
So we're, we're talking, we're in the weeds here. But yeah. a, a photograph of Vanta Black is not as black as it really is because mm-hmm. your camera is introducing some amount of... Well, it's know, like all photos of art, though. Yep. Doesn't, yeah. They don't do it justice, mm-hmm. right? Like, Just like taking a photograph of this next beer, whew, which I am closing my eyes for. Thank you. Well, before you close your eyes, Sean, what would you rate oh, this beer? Oh. 65. 73. Ooh. 75. Whoa! Oh, uh, alcohol's hitting me a little bit. Yeah. Now that I have no horizon. A little bit of setup on this one. <laughs> Just because I'm bad at planning. It's a cork. That sounds like plastic bag to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I asked them for it. Uh, you hear cork. I hear plastic bag. <laughs> don't. Uh, I, do I don't not think that's a cork. cork. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that one. All right, all right. I'm, no, uh, I'm no expert, but... Really? I'd have to wager on not cork. I'll give myself the phone. He asks not for a lighter bird, <laughs> but for broader shoulders. Jeremy, All right, you can if, open your eyes. Jeremy, oh my God. If, if you uh, ever make a Tinder profile, you need to put that as like your bio. <laughs> I give myself the foam. <laughs> Ladies. I'll let, I'll let you eat the, the crackers in the bed. <laughs> wow. This looks like a hazy IPA. Thank but, uh, God. Here, we'll see. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Cheers. cheers. Oh! Woo! Oh, that's good. That's a northeastern hazy IPA, right? That's a lot of something. It's almost like it's got like the consistency of like orange juice, <laughs> like yeah, it's yeah. like pulp in it, <laughs> <laughs> almost like yeah, you gotta work through it. Yeah, it's like a like a naked juice where it's like semi solid. <laughs> it's like a, like a uh, like a pine tar almost. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is a northeastern. Style IPA. I'll let you continue to think that until we rate them. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't get a lot of Northeastern out of this, but. Um, this is what I perceive a Northeastern to be. Sure. At the very least. I'm glad you perceive it that way and not me. Well, could you guys explain <laughs> like, to me? I what, think it's a stout. What that, <laughs> <laughs> what, it, it, it's a smooth black ale. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm, smooth and dark and. Uh, Oh shit! I have my eyes Ale. closed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what what what's the northeastern mean? And because I I don't know. My perception of northeastern style IPAs is that they end up being a little bit more creamy than a oh. typical IPA, and and that's what I get out of this. Um, is a lot of it, it is a more juicy IPA than most, and it also ends up being a little bit more creamy as well. I'm having a hard time telling if the creamy is from the hazy or if it's because of the Northeastern. I think it's because it's a hazy IPA. Jeremy, what do you think it is? <laughs> I, t- uh, to be honest, um, I saw this, and this is this is kind of a big hint, but also not a big hint at all. I'm I've, guessing first. <laughs> I, I haven't like seen this one like at all, <laughs> and I was like, well, yeah, okay, and I grabbed it for the the mystery thing. So was, I, I actually, I don't remember. That was less of a hint than I yeah. thought. You, you might go first, Nick. <laughs> Are we guessing ABV again first? Oh, God. I think so. Am I going first this time? Sure. Let me actually pull it out of the freezer to look at the... Yeah, blind blind yourself. Blind My yourself. eyes. Blind yourself. All right, I'm going to go the bitch route and say six. Oh, Jesus. It, does it, it not... Oh, it does. Okay. It's <laughs> sort of like a, a high-low thing then, huh, for me? Yeah. What ABV, right? Yeah. Okay. I was like, this is not six IBU. Hey, you right? guys, you uh, guys are off by uh, quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll guess higher, and I'll say seven. This is a eight point seven <laughs> alcohol by volume. Jesus. I don't get that at all. I, I was reaching for the six. I, it's kind of. I see higher than a six. I don't see eight point seven. I don't see much of nothing. IBU. Do you have IBU? Yeah, the can does not. So you need to look it up? Yep. So you're saying I have a minute. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That's better when it goes down the right pipe. <laughs> I, I do not like the pneumonia flavor of, of this beer. <laughs> pneumonia flavor? Yeah. This wasn't made don't, in the 1800s. Don't, well, I mean, don't <laughs> inhale it into your lungs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, do you typically like a Northeastern IPA, Sean? Yeah. They're, they're fine. I know a uh, tree house in uh, Vermont, I think, does a really good. That's, they're that's very northeast. Yeah, that's uh, that's on my Vermont trip. Yeah, Treehouse. How many uh, how many breweries are in Vermont? A shitload. It it is like, it, but it's like the size of Coconino County. It's like half I know. the size of Coconino well, but County. by per capita, I think it's higher than than. Even Colorado. Mo- well, I think it it is. Maybe not as high as um, Colorado, but maybe close. Right. Yeah. So online, I can't actually find a like consensus Rip. on what so the IBU, IBU is. No. But we can do style. Style. Yep. We can do a brewer. Mm-hmm. So are we doing style? Sure. Oh god. Northeastern IPA. I gotta just say hazy IPA. What's on the can and what I've seen online? It's a double. India Pale Ale. So we're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a double? What God, the fuck? Why is it's it so... It's cake? like cream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What the fuck? I am a little... Uh... I feel like we're both pretty good at this. We haven't, <laughs> we haven't given a point away all day. Like this. It has been a, a sorrowful day. You would guess... You would guess a Northeastern more than a double, right? And yeah. I would guess a Hazy more than a double. Yeah. From what I, I've seen online right now, just like looking, like overlook, like just just calling it a straight double is actually kind of ridiculous. That, this is really hoppy. This is hoppy enough to be a double, but the following There's something descriptors else. are really important. I think as well mm-hmm. uh, as important or more than Brewer Sean, who would make an IPA like this? Tombstone. <laughs> Seems like something tombstone to make. Upslope. Oh, all right. I guess. Can reveal. That doesn't look like tombstone. <laughs> that doesn't look <laughs> like anything, right? Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> brewed and canned by Dorchester Brewing Company, Boston, Massachusetts, for de- decadent ales. Oh. Just... I, you thought Evil Twin? Yeah. Yeah, me too. And uh, he said brewed by it. I was like, no. <laughs> He's in Massachusetts. I was like, no. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Um, I can only get so aroused. <laughs> and so, th- this is called the, I don't know, is this Latin? Like, Etris Etra? I'd, please look at this. I think it's Citrus Citra. <laughs> is that a C? I think so. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's font for you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Nick, look at this for a second. Citrus Citra. Okay. Yeah, I'm just stupid. That, that's orange it. peel added. Who wait? Who is this by? I don't get the. I don't get the orange peel. Dorchester. I get. I mean, like you know, again, like a lot of fruits that are citrusy have acid in them that taste acidy. It's so general that you couldn't be like orange peel, like so, right. like what the fuck? Yeah, th- I just saw this and I was like, oh well, it's six dollars for that a tall boy. Crazy. And it's like no nothing I've ever seen before, and mm-hmm. it's probably a one sh- like a, a one off beer. So mm-hmm. anyway, <laughs> good grab, Jeremy. Uh, this is a good one. Yeah, I'd have another one of these. I at very least would have a whole sixteen. I would have a whole pint of this. I, I, you know what I get? I don't get a. I I can see orange peel now. That I've, now that I've burped, <laughs> I see some orange peel. Uh, you know what I get more than anything is the the pith. The like oh. white part of oh, orange. I yeah. get some like bitter. Yeah, it's like, like a bitter even beyond what like a, a hop would do. Yeah. Well, and that speaks to maybe how long they left that in the dry hopping stage or in the brew stage, yeah. right? They've they've taken maybe a little bit of the tannins out of the peel, rather than just leaving more of a bright citrusy flavor. Right. Yeah. Yep. Pinky raised moment for me, but you know. <laughs> Tannin. Everyone, single file. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, folks. Yeah. This is like, this is literally just a sticker on a can. Like, yeah. 
it, too obscure for anyone but <laughs> the really I really want to give myself a point for Northeastern IPA. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, w- w- God damn! This episode it's has so proven close. that you can call anything anything you want, and at least in America. I, and like, I, see, I wouldn't call this Northeastern. I call this dark smooth, but <laughs> <laughs> but that's uh, not a real thing, so you can't fact check. Yeah. So. Sean, hello, God. Oh, I realized what you're going to ask me, and I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Jeremy. Hmm. Let me get one more sip of this. 70. Yeah, actually, I'd go as high as 73. 70. It is a solid Northeastern IPA. I mean... <laughs> that's, a, that's a great dark smooth ale. Don't you guys agree? <laughs> that's a great... Uh, something. It, it's a great hefe. Yeah, <laughs> it's. It, it, I mean, you know, I, I think it's a it's a double gyoza on the rocks, <laughs> but with a twist. Bingo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little upset that it was only listed as a double IPA because, like, come on, you could you could shine a flashlight through this and you couldn't see the other end. Uh, but, again, double hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Sure, there are a couple words that should follow. Oh yeah. Double. A lot of different styles can have double in the name, mm-hmm. so that's yeah. not a, a very straight double though. And there are a lot of different styles of IPA. Mm-hmm. So, there well, thank you, you for joining us. Uh, <laughs> I'm be right back. So next week we have Sierra Nevada, and what do we have? We West have week? the the West Coast style stout by them. Uh, we have the the sidecar orange IPA. And we have the the IPA Hop Hunter, distilled with hop oil. That'll be interesting. Dank. Just dank. We have the the Bigfoot a barley wine. First style. barley wine on the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's barley wine style. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. It's a yeah. barley wine. <laughs> uh, we have Brut. the the Brut IPA extra dry. And the twelve answer is well, the the can twelve answer is the. <sighs> The uh, ultra base. Yeah, ultra. I tried, I tried to hit the hit the broad as yeah. a broad. That's, that's pretty broad. Of, yeah. Of Sierra Nevada. So even if you can't go out and get such a broad palette of Sierra Nevada beers, go out and grab yourself one or two Sierra Nevadas. Drink uh, with us. This has been Beer Right Back of the Lounge Beer Podcast, and we'll beer right back. Drink responsibly.